In this video, we're going to talk about a very important rule in calculus. It's called the chain rule. So chain rule. So the chain rule gives us a formula for the derivative of a composition of functions. So it says if you have d dx, it's the derivative with respect to x of f of g of x. So how do you use the chain rule and how do you memorize it? Well, you want to think of f as your outside function. So outside. And then g is your inside function. So inside. And so the chain rule says that when you take this derivative, it's the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside. So you leave the inside untouched. So the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside times the derivative of the inside function. And that is the chain rule. So it's the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside times the derivative of the inside. Let's do a couple examples of the chain rule. Say we have to take the derivative with respect to x. Uh, let's do sine of let's say x cubed. So to find the derivative of this with respect to x. So if it was just sine x, the answer would be cosine x. But here it's sine of x cubed. So the inside function is x cubed. Your outside function is sine x. So the derivative of sine is cosine. And then you evaluate it at the inside. You leave the inside untouched. So cosine of x cubed times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Again, it's the derivative of the outside, which is cosine, evaluated at the inside times the derivative of the inside. It's beautiful stuff. Last thing you could do is put the 3x squared in the front. So it's 3x squared times the cosine of x cubed. Let's do another one, d dx of, and so it's fun to practice these with trig functions. Let's try, um, oh, let's backtrack. Let's do that, sine x. Well, we know the answer is cosine x, but let's be silly. Sometimes it's good to be silly. Let's take the derivative using the chain rule. So the inside function is x, so we leave it untouched. So the derivative of the outside is cosine of x evaluated at the inside times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x is 1. Boom. So this is just cosine x. So it agrees with our formula. So life is good. Let's do another one. D dx. D dx. Let's make it uncomfortable. Secant of 2x. So the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So in this case, it would be secant 2x. This is what makes it uncomfortable. You have to write it twice. Tangent of 2x times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is 2x, so its derivative is 2. So again, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So here it's secant 2x. So it's secant 2x tangent 2x times the derivative of the inside. So this is 2 secant 2x tangent 2x. Let's do another one. Why not? d dx, d dx of, let's do something without a trig function. Here we go. x cubed plus 2 to the eighth. Yuck. So our outside function is something to the eighth power. So this is the inside, x cubed plus 2. So we leave the inside untouched. We put the 8 in the front. We have x cubed plus 2. We subtract 1, so we get 7. That's the power rule, right? Times the derivative of the inside, so 3x squared. Again, we took the derivative of the outside, brought the 8 down, subtracted 1, got 7, left the inside untouched, then times the derivative of the inside. 3x squared times 8 is 24x squared. Then we have x cubed plus 2 to the seventh. Let's do another one. I love the chain rule. D dx, d dx, my favorite rule. 
out of the product quotient and chain chain is really the best uh, one in my my opinion oh i don't know oh i know what we can do i have a great idea let's do the sign let's have some fun let's do the sign of the tangent of x game over right so let's mix it up so the inside function is tangent of x the outside function is sine of x so we take the derivative of sine which is cosine we leave the inside untouched, so cosine of the tangent of x times the derivative of the inside. Well, the inside function is tangent, so its derivative is secant squared x. I think that's good. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.